Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about the legend of Biscornet and I hope you're ready to be really really scared. Ha, ah, Notre Dame. I don't know if it's the first time you've seen it, but even the most regular Parisians are always surprised by the complexity of its architecture. Indeed, stand in front of the facade and admire the magnificent bas-relief on the door of the large judgment. Just below, you see imposing wooden doors so large and thick that you would almost find them disturbing. And for a good reason. They were the subject of one of the darkest stories the capital has ever known. Indeed, the ironwork of this door is so complex that even today's locksmiths do not understand how it works, which leads many people to believe that this gate is a work of the devil. According to the legend, the iron work was ordered in the 40th century to a young and ambitious locksmith named Biscornet, but he soon realized that it would be an impossible task for his modest workshop. He then went down into the shallows of the Ile Saint Louis to find the servant of Satan and sign a pact with the devil with his blood. In exchange for Biscornet's soul, the latter would make the locks in time to deliver them to the canons of Notre Dame. Very satisfied, Biscornet went back to work, but despite all his efforts, his work was progressing too laboriously to be ready on time, and under the effect of his panic, the young locksmith fell into sync up the day before the day of delivery. When he regained consciousness, he was astonished when he discovered the cathedral doors adorned with extraordinary new ironwork. Satan had fulfilled his part of the contract, and the canons were all ecstatic about his work, which is still fascinating today. Biscornet, however, was not willing to do his part of the bargain and fled to avoid having to surrender his soul, but it was of course a lost cause before Satan who found him very quickly and killed him. It is said that his ghost continues to prowl around the cemetery of the innocents. So, when you go there, don't be surprised if you see the specter of our rather strange locksmith chanting satanic invocations. And finally, these doors of the last judgment hold one last mystery. It is said that after they were installed, they remained stuck and could only be opened after being sprinkled by holy water. So, I mean, that's a lot of evil stories for the front door of a cathedral, doesn't it?